called CINEBAR code. When it comes to medicines, patient safety and hospitals, this is a question about saving lives. The possibility to conduct a bedside scan of a medicine before administration to a patient can play a major role in preventing medication administration error. In 1741, it was an agreement between uh, the speciale, which is the pharmacist, and his hospital. In this agreement, the speciale, the pharmacist, was obliged to write down the number of the patient to be sure that the right medicine is going to the right patient. What are we de doing nowadays? We are giving a medicine, probably the right medicine, but we don't uh, never check whether the medicine are the medicine for the right patient at the right time and with the right dose. Nowadays, we need technology to do this. And scan technology is one of the way to control the medication at the point of care. Because in USA, our colleagues achieved the goal and by law in USA since I think 2004 is mandatory to get on the single unit a barcode just for this purpose to scan on the point of care and in terms of patient safety. So I think we have to learn and we have to push regulation on European level uh, to be similar. We implemented the system in the University Hospitals of Leuven. Uh, we started it a few years ago. It was uh, quite a job. So first thing uh, we had to do was implementing an electronic prescribing system. Uh, that was very easily sold to the physicians. The only thing we had to show was uh, a copy of a handwritten therapy sheet and everything uh, became clear that we needed this uh, electronic prescribing system. Uh, after that we started gradually to uh, develop the software for doing the bedside scanning and installing all the hardware. And a year in advance we started on making unidose barcoded medication, single dose packed. Uh, because when we started we had only three brand names, three products on the market who were suitable for doing bedside scanning. So when you take a look at the market right now, you see this kind of products uh, and these are two examples where we have uh, a blister with multiple capsules or pills in it and the only thing we see on the back side is that we have uh, a brand name and a dose all over the blister but when we de-blister or cut one of them, uh, we cannot read which medication is uh, in this blister. So what we need is single dose packed medication and here we have uh, some tries, we have single dose packed medication, we can tear them apart, but what we see is that we don't have the information about the brand name, about the dose, about the product uh, available on every pill, so it is quite a lost effort for me. Uh, where we started as a hospital, we had 12 million doses a year. Uh, we had to do the repacking and the labeling ourselves, so we started by unblistering and reblistering medication in uh, specific foils, high quality, and adding a 2D barcode on it, uh, a matrix code, which contains uh, unique identification of the product, uh, a batch number, expiry date, fractionation number, all the uh, information you need uh, for checking the medication. This is a quite intensive process, uh, we have to do under GMP conditions. We also have to uh, be aware of uh, the stability of the product, for instance, influence of light, and you have to use a specific foil. Uh, you can also do this with uh, bags, little uh, bags with medication, where you can put a label on it. They're not uh, to re-blister. But what we actually want, and that's why we cried out for help to the industry, is that the industry is uh, doing it for us. Uh, so when it's done from in the factory, it's done the first time uh, right. So right now we see already medication on the market with this uh, single uh, code on it with all the information in it. And this is uh, possible on uh, vials, on ampules already. These are the ones we labeled ourselves, but there are already uh, companies uh, delivering ampules with a 2D mark code on it. But the hardest uh, thing to achieve, I think, is uh, the blister with 10 pills in it, where we have to do a single dose with a barcode scanning. And there, I think, Pfizer is uh, way ahead of the other companies because they picked it up and they listened to the voice of the customer. And what we see right now is that they can deliver to the market this little single dose medication where we have all the information 
on a very, very tiny space in a barcode in a readable way. So this is the medication we need to do barcode scanning. So that was the hard part for the pharmacy, uh, introducing barcode scanning. Something we miscalculated a bit was the mindset we needed. Uh, we thought to implement it and after we had 12 million doses available, uh, everything would go smoothly. But the mindset we had to introduce uh, for our nurses, even for patients, why are you scanning my, wrist my wristband for the second or the third time today? Why are you asking my name? Why do I have to scan? And after three months, we have seen that nurses are, uh, have seen the benefits of the system. And right now, uh, we deployed it on all wards in the hospital on a 2,000 bed. So I think that's quite a big achievement. A message I want to give to uh, hospital pharmacists is don't wait for it. Uh, you can start and scream out your needs. And a message we have to uh, policy makers and to industry is uh, please facilitate the uh, packing of producing of single dose barcoding uh, medications. Uh, please introduce it right the first time. Go for a GS1 standard with a unique identifier because this is on a European or even a global level. Uh, so when we see that packaging is done on European or global level, uh, this is the best way to do it. Do it in two steps. In the first step, we can do it right now. That is. Uh, uh, introduce a cheating code, a unique identifier for the product, and in a second phase we can add expiry date and a batch number because that's more uh, adaptive to the, the packing lines. Yeah, we have implemented bedside scanning only in one specific process, which is uh, the chemotherapies, so the anti cancer treatments, because it, this is a very high risk process, and uh, the particularity of this process is that the pharmacy is producing the final uh, preparation because. We all want hospital pharmacies to implement bedside scanning, but we have a ma major problem, which is that industry doesn't provide today uh, barcode on unit doses. So uh, we decided in Geneva to, to start to do something and to start with this very high risk process, which is uh, chemotherapy preparation. So uh, in this process, you, uh, you have a patient with a wristband containing a barcode on it, and you have a preparation with uh, an identifier here that the nurse can scan uh, when she administers the product to the patient. So basically, a very simple process, and uh, it's very difficult to understand why the pharmaceutical industry is not able to provide such, uh, such product. And since we have implemented this, uh, this process in our uh, chemotherapy, uh, in our oncology uh, wards, uh, we have avoided several uh, mistakes during the administration process. I think the uh, implementation of bedside scanning w by the use of barcode is a common responsibility between uh, healthcare provider in, in hospital and the pharmaceutical industry because the pharmaceutical industry has a responsibility in the right use of uh, its product at the hospital level. And when I see that a hospital pharmacy like uh, the Geneva University Pharmacy is able to provide uh, product with uh, a GS1 conform uh, barcode on it containing all the information we need, uh, I, it's evident that all pharmaceutical industry can also do it. So I think we have to, to move on, we have to do it, uh, really to, to improve the patient safety.